Welcome, dear friends and believers. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry. And today we're going to talk about tithing and offering. I've had many questions about it. What do I do? How do I do it? We will answer your questions today in this very short presentation. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for you to speak through us with Holy Spirit utterance, Holy Spirit guidance and unction, and give us raiment word where tithing and offering is concerned so that your people that you love unconditionally can be prospered immensely by the blood and name of Yeshua Messiah, the Mashiach, Eloheinu, Jesus Christ, Nazarene, we pray, amen. And dear friends, remember Malachi 3, verses 8 through 10. All right. God himself says very clear, this is from the King James Version, will man rob God, yet you are robbing me. But you say, how have we robbed you in your tithes and offerings or contributions? You are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and thereby put me to test, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour out, pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. Malachi 3, 8 uh, through verse 10. Now, friends, that's a very interesting translation, but instead of reading from the Hebrew, I wanted to read to you from the New King James so that a lot of you out there do have the King James Bible. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to the change. James 1.17. Now, friends, what does that mean? It means... Give and it will be given to you. It puts God in the position when he sees you tied to the church you belong to and how important it is that he must abundantly bless you. Is this fertile ground? It doesn't work for people in an internet church. Yes, it does. And I'm going to give you one uh, quick example. Daniel, who ties regularly Every time he's paid into this ministry has gone from $14 an hour to $28.50 an hour by the prayers of this ministry for him and has advanced him in his job. Let me give you another example. Susan and Marcel came to me. They were in a poverty-stricken situation. All they could give as an offering was change. And it was to be utilized for their gas that week so they could get to work. They gave the change as an offering. I prayed over them. And believe me, I'm a man who only prays and works the will of God. It was God, his son, and the Holy Spirit. And I prayed in his Hebrew name over them. And they were blessed not only with new work, but money they did not expect to come to them in the mail. And I prophesied that to them. Where did I get that prophecy? I prayed over them. God told me, you're going to get money in the mail that you did not expect. And within two weeks, they got it. And within less than a month, they were in a better financial situation and able to stop renting and buy a home. They needed a new vehicle. They were driving a Ford station wagon that burnt more oil than it did gas. They were able, within a short period of time, to get a new, brand new, um, one of those big SUVs because they had children they needed a bigger bigger vehicle they were able to get that so my friends this ministry is fertile ground how can i possibly say that because everyone that i prayed for where prosperity is concerned we have seen the blessing come hallelujah and who gives the blessing i give all glory to the father son and holy spirit i'm just a man only a man that is utilized by God to speak and work his will. So remember Malachi 3. It's very important. Now, there are many of you who have joined this ministry because you have no transportation you know, or you're bedridden or you have an inability to 
uh, uh, find a church in your area where real signs, wonders, and miracles are occurring on a regular basis. So people have joined this ministry for that purpose. Be bold. Try something you haven't tried before and give it a chance to work. Now, verse-wise from the Holy Word of God, it says very clearly, do good and lend expecting nothing in return and your reward will be great. That's Luke 6, 35. All right. Give and it will be given to you. You hear me say this all the time. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use or give it, will be measured back to you, Luke 6, 38. So, my friends, in conclusion of this particular broadcast, call us at 702-588-9237 if you need prayer for prosperity, you need an increase in the job where you're working, or you need a better job. We have prayed that over people, and they have gotten better jobs. God closes the door on the job they're in and opens up the door to a better job that pays more and treats them better because that's what God wants for you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I baptize this particular broadcast in the water, in the blood, in the Holy Spirit fire of our sacred Messiah so that you will be blessed to join this ministry and be blessed and prospered in your life. Thank God always every morning for every blessing anew and every blessing of your past, present, and future. And you will see through that thankful gratitude the explosion of money in your life, I guarantee it. Call us at 702-588-9237. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry in Las Vegas, Nevada. Share this video with everyone you know who needs better prosperity in their lives. Amen.